This is the, the typical image that you get out of our gated imaging system. It's a CMOS based, I will explain it later. And this is a 12 bit reference camera. So, first of all, you can appreciate the range. The limitation is that we have to be class one in the laser emission. But you see here the nice range up to 300 meters or so, and uh, you're not blinded by the oncoming traffic. And the scene is quite nice. And to show it on a video that you see that it's live. The scene is quite self-explanatory. I don't have to tell you what you see. Also, we found out that training uh, any artificial network is quite, thin. we don't have to do a lot of training to, to take a, an existing AI to work on our images. And just as you see, a car will come across the curve and it will not blind our system, which is actually what we want to show. Also, uh, so this was nighttime. Now I want to show you some performance in fog. And what you see here is um, a picture I took from uh, one of the papers that were published by Mercedes. Uh, they took it to a fog chamber in France, and those two pictures were taken simultaneously. And again, when you see such an image, please take in mind that it's composed of hundreds of very narrow slices combined together to get this nice uniform image. And as we see it here, we see a LiDAR. So the LiDAR is very effective in the short range. Here we see a thermal imager. Here we see the 12-bit camera. And here you see the gated camera, and you can appreciate that it is quite well in the fog. And the, the reason is that we can look over the backscatter, and we can control the sensitivity of the system with range and, and compensate for the backscatter and actually look behind it. So this is in fog. Uh, in order to um, complement the, the, the bad weather, and I'll just show you another fog uh, chamber test. Again, you can appreciate uh, the, the difference in visibility that you see here. Of course, we use low beam in this example because using high beam um, stores the image complete, completely. And also heavy rain, 80 millimeters per hour is um, very heavy rain. And the blinking that you see is due to the wipers. And the thermal imager will not be able to see because there are a lot of thermal sources in the way. And, and the leader will get multiple reflections, which much outweighs it and cause some disturbance. And in the gated imaging, you see that it's quite nice. The image is hardly affected. There is some degradation in performance, but not that severe. OK, this is one of our test vehicles in Mercedes. And another application that we use the gated imaging is to get a depth map. So here you see the illuminators, two laser illuminators, and the camera installed behind the windshield, which is an important parameter for automotive. And what you see here is actually uh, Stop it for a minute so we can talk. So you see the three slices, the short range slice, the medium range slice, and the long range slice. And actually, you can use as much slices as you like. This is a 12-bit camera. And this is the uh, interpolation of the three slices uh, that we can get uh, the range estimation. We are not as accurate in range as a leader, but our special resolution is much higher. You can appreciate the range here, but what not? Uh, what is also very important is to uh, see the pedestrian standing here uh, compared to the 12-bit uh, camera, which is very difficult to detect that there are pedestrians. Mm -hmm. I'll just play it so you can enjoy the scene a little bit, and then we go on. By the way, this is uh, Stuttgart. These are the streets of Stuttgart. So you recognize the location in Germany. Again, you see the nice range. It has a lot of uh, information in it. We wait till people start crossing here. OK, that's nice. So you see you see them in the long range slice, also in the medium range slice. The nice thing is that there is no background, so that the contrast is very high. And in the short slice, of course, you will not see them. OK, so this was the, the gated imaging part. Now I want to go over and uh, explain what are the challenges uh, that we encounter when manufacturing those systems. So first of all, let's see what is the product. And the product is, actually consists of two modules. One module is the laser module. You can see here the Vexel chip and the laser driver. And this is the camera module, a fixed focus, a lens, and it's positioned with the active alignment, as many of you think of. So these are the two building blocks. Another thing that we supply is the database, so customers can train their AI system. 